What's going on people? It's GBP baby. Welcome to another video. It's currently one zero five past one AM on Friday the fourteenth of July. And yeah, Dollar has disrespected every single PDRA that I've marked out in my last video yesterday. Um I had my eyes on a weekly fair value gap that was here and you can see we actually traded through it today. This is one of the biggest moves. I think this is the biggest move I've, I've ever witnessed in the markets in my life. Um, I started trading last year. So last year, April. And I can already see this is the biggest candle I've ever seen in my life. So it's been an incredible week. Um, and yeah, so that's why I've moved it to the monthly. So I'm, cause I'm trying to figure out, okay, if it's not stopping there, where is it going to stop? So I recognize this monthly fair value gap that I can I imagine it might be reaching for which means we can expect much more down uh, price action but this is absolutely crazy we have relatively equal lows down here and yeah it seems like it's good night for the dollar to be honest which is also scary for the world economy considering this is the Federal Reserve but um, honestly I don't really know what to say um, we had a bearish day obviously with dollar and yeah, I can anticipate us potentially pushing lower, but again, I don't, honestly, uh, I've never experienced such things in it, so I'm not going to say too much, but it's absolutely incredible what's going on. GBP, we've traded higher. Um, I did have a comment left on my last video. Who was it now? Let me quickly find out, just so I can say thank you. King Ilimona8416, he left a comment, state now there's a monthly fair value gap on um, on GBP, USD, and I didn't even realise that was there until you pointed that out, so I want to say thank you, I have that marked out in blue now, so it's pretend, this, it is possible that um, price is likely pushing up towards that, it does seem like it, so thank you, shout out to you for that. And yeah, honestly, I just don't, I'm not gonna, this video is gonna be pretty useless to, because like I said, these charts, I've never seen anything like it, ever. But I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the news, so I can imagine that has a lot to do with it. I've just marked out consequent encroachment of this wick. yeah um, we can anticipate price wanting to push into that certainly fall back with it um, again higher prices and we'll see if uh, what do you call it we'll see if we'll see if Friday wants to trade into it euro again very similar we're pushing into a uh, weekly imbalance currently trading through it with speed um, here Wow so I'm anticipating this to get filled considering we trade past fifty percent level. Um, I'll mark out the fifty percent level again, similar to what I did with the wick. I'd expect us to come back and find some kind of support there. That might be a buying opportunity, but honestly, because of the because of these environments, I've never experienced these environments before. So I don't really want to. I don't really want to trade in them to be honest, as in I, I wouldn't see it as a safe thing to do so to speak so yeah that's pretty much everything guys i'm expect overall i'm expecting lower dollar <laughs> see if it wants to reach into that monthly fair value gap and yeah that's pretty much everything i'll catch you guys on sunday i'll have a back testing video dropping tomorrow and i'll probably do some more back testing over the weekend because that's all i can do in these environments because what the hell <laughs> anyway Thanks for watching guys, this has been GBP Baby and I'll catch you in the next one. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I never usually tell my people to subscribe, but subscribe. Peace.